Hi, this is Ken Ferry with this week's Boots in the Field. Got a pretty strong rain across the uh, across the territory this weekend, which has kind of backed up or delayed any replanting of beans or first planting of beans. Kind of a note there, uh, as we get pushed back in June, remember to push those populations up. We're going to end up with shorter beans, so let's move those 140, 150 populations up in the 170 to 200, depending on row spacing and the type of bean you're working with. As far as row spacing goes, at this point, anything you can do to narrow up the rows will help. So we'll push up the populations, narrow up the rows, double back and plant on them uh, would be a better uh, process. I would not back up on maturities. I would stay where you are there, but I would push the population and the row spacing uh, in on those. From an insect standpoint, rootworm hatch is underway. So the the hatching and actual larva feeding, we've been able to find just some very small larva. Uh, By the end of this week, they'll be easier to find. So we want to start our scouting process uh, anytime on your uh, refuge corn. And not a lot we can do if we have a rootworm break out there, Uh, but it's good to know where it is so we can kind of keep an eye on it from harvestability and standability standpoints itself. But what you mainly want to be doing here in the next 10 to 15 days is start to evaluate your insecticide program for the program working so you can pick out your rootworm resistance issues and how you would switch your events around and whether you should be doubling up your events next year with an insecticide. A lot of guys ask, with the price of corn, should I use an insecticide on top of traded corn? Now is when we're going to answer that. We're going to start looking at your traits, and we're going to look at your fields and look at your pressure and see what you got. Is your existing trait holding on for you or not? Especially you guys in corn on corn, where you're repeating possibly some traits in the same window band. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see the first part of this week. They're going to be easier to see the end of the week. Definitely into next week, you should be able to start to see feed and and actually find the larva by the end of next week you can start doing floats and actually counts if you want and register them out also seeing some uh, corn bore flight out there for you guys that are going to put out the corn bore lure traps if you don't have them out already uh, definitely get your pheromones in to start monitoring the corn bore itself but that flight is underway and don't forget about your refuge acres there as far as uh, scouting for the first generation corn bore so with that uh, we're still uh, chugging away on the nitrogen this last rain event is going to put some pressure on some of your low ground as far as holding on to the nitrogen itself again don't be afraid to to go back in there and pull nitrates if you think some of this nitrogen got away from you and we'll be adjusting accordingly next week zach and i will be in uh, canada helping them with an outbreak of walleye up there Uh, so isaac will be bringing you the boots in the field and uh, i'll be talking to you in two weeks when we're back in the field and seeing how things have changed in that time period so keep it safe and we'll talk to you in a couple weeks